Hello YouTube, this is Max Miner, and today I'm going to do a showcase on some TNT cannons. The first one I have is the smallest TNT cannon you can possibly get, the micro TNT cannon. It only takes up a 3x3x2 three by three by space. I'm going to do a tutorial in one of my next videos. Now, today I'm going to be testing it on a defenseless creeper, Captain Kaboom. He's going to go kaboom. When I push this button, it activates the TNT in there, activating this. Kaboom. You can see we destroyed the creeper. This is a super quick and easy to build one right here. It only uses four dispensers, one half slab, four redstone bits, a button, a redstone torch, and water. And of course, TNT. It's very easy to build, so I suggest if you're going to fight someone, you bring the materials with you instead of building it on your base. Otherwise, your base will get blown up because it, this is its range from here all the way to there. Very small range. The next one I call the sniper cannon. You can probably notice something very unusual right away. Instead of a normal half slab for the mounting block, it's a cake. Because it will allow it to shoot farther because it's slightly shorter than a half slab. When I push this button, activates the TNT. Activating that TNT. Kaboom. As you can see, it goes very far out of my render distance. All the way over here. You can also switch that out for a flower pot for even farther. But don't get too short, otherwise it will blow up on the spot. And if you use a fence... It will shoot too far and it will explode before it hits the ground. This is the range of the sniper cannon. So this one you could have on your base and it won't hurt anything. This one I'm, w I'm going to do in a separate tutorial from the micro TNT cannon. It uses a ton of dispensers, half slabs, redstone, and of course tons of TNT. The reason I have dispensers on both sides is so it has twice the power for this TNT that spawns right here. I'm going to do one more demonstration of this. And I, the reason I didn't put a target or a creeper is because it, because it has such a massive range and it's not as exact as, as you can see. Sometimes it's way over here, sometimes it's over there, sometimes it's way over there. It would be too hard to calculate where it goes. I'm sure using math, you can figure out an exact algorithm to find the exact range using average. As you can see, I've changed my skin to Boba Fett for this video. I just thought I'd do that. Since, and the reason I'm not in my Star Wars themed world is because I didn't want anything to get blown up. So I'm in a nice new super flat. Goodbye!